Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Learn with Jason. Today on the show, we have Ken Wheeler. Ken, how are you doing today? I'm phenomenal. How are you? I'm I'm doing pretty well. I'm uh, I'm super excited to have you on the show. I feel like we've talked about this for a while, and uh, and I'm 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 really excited to finally make it happen here. Um, so for those of us who are not familiar with your work, do you want to maybe give us a, a little background? Um, yeah. Uh, so I'm Ken Wheeler. Um, I made a bunch of dumbass open source back <laughs> in the day and, um, haven't recently and, and sold out and build trading dashboards now and occasionally <laughs> do music demos. I, I mean, I have definitely been following your, your Twitter for the, uh, for the music content lately. Cause it's, it's just so much fun to watch you make beats, which is something that I, I pretend that I can do, but I definitely can't. So it's always kind of, it's like, I, I pretend that maybe someday I'll be doing that stuff. Um, <laughs> I, I don't think I've tweeted about tech in, in some time. Yeah. I mean, you know, tech Twitter is, is it's it's a it's a whole lifestyle it's like a it's a little stress ball so i, I it's 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 a thing <laughs> um, it's certainly a thing <laughs> but uh but yeah so i'm 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 pretty excited about this though because like the the tech that you're not tweeting about you've done a bunch of stuff that that is you know, has really made a splash in the open source community like you were uh you were at formidable for a while so you did mm -hmm. work on spectacle you did work on urkel um you did i believe uh, your, your first one was, uh, what was it called? Slick slider, slick carousel. Yep. That webpack dashboard. <laughs> um, I created all of those and then, um, the good folks at formidable came in and, uh, you know, took it from dumpster fire to product. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good, that's a great part about having a team, right? Is, uh, is you can just kind of whip something out there and, and then people who will, you know, I'm, I'm save very you much yourself. like an, very much an ideas guy. Like I'll go and I'll like build something and it'll like, they'll see it. And I'm like, wow, this is kind of cool. And then, um, they'll go look under the hood and they're like, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> 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 like, All right. Uh, <laughs> Urkel, Ur Urkel initially wasn't that bad. I, I, I did that all nice type scripty at first, but, um, yeah, some of those were a little on the cowboy side, at least initially. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely, I can't feel that. <laughs> um, well, cool. So yeah, I'm I'm uh, I'm super excited today because we're gonna do we're gonna kind of combine all of this, right? Because you so, so actually, I have a question. You talk about yourself as a producer, and you've you know you've made like full albums, right? Like you've got uh, you've got music on Spotify. You're you're putting out actual tracks. Um, but this, when you were younger, you did a lot more music, right? Like you were you were doing a ton in music, right? Yeah, like as a job. Yeah, so do you want to talk about that a little bit? Because I've actually never heard this story. No, well, I mean, when I was in high school, um, I mean, when we were like children, we were in like bands and everything like that. Uh, you know, we would play in like hardcore bands, like, you know, like New York hardcore, like that kind of stuff. Um, and then <clears throat> I got really into rap music. And I, uh, b b before any like rap, production or anything um mm -hmm. I, I thought turntables were the coolest shit there ever was right like i would see people scratching and i'm like that is the coolest thing that's the coolest thing you could possibly do so um I, you know i mowed a couple lawns and got these turntables and it was really funny because like um back then like there were hip-hop records available i just didn't know where to get them mm -hmm. so it was me like uh spinning like my parents like classic rock music so everything was everything was like very rick rubin sure <laughs> like you know it was like walk this way drum beat like you know and like so then um the first beats that i made actually it was kind of wild right it was like um there, there was no uh fruity loops or logic or ableton or any of this mm. shit um I had a, I, so you have a mixer, right? You have one, you have two turntables and a mixer and one channel for each turntable, right? And so I took one of those channels and um, I would record one turntable into a tape recorder. Remember like a, like a tape recorder? Yeah. So I, I had like two, like, like whatever, like the, the Walkman uh, equivalent was of like a cassette tape. Yeah. I would record into that and then I would, take the tape and switch it into the one on the, the second channel and play that 
while recording to another tape in the initial one and then doing the thing on the turntable. So that's how I would do multi-track recording initially. Wow. And so like you would have like the and then you come in and be like right and just layer them and shit. And it was crazy. Like it was so dope because um you know, you know how shitty tape sounds and then yeah. with like very shitty like cables. And then like when you layer that on top of each other by the end, right? It's just like, <laughs> like it just sounded crazy. Like it was just like this <laughs> shitty distorted, but it was so dope because it was so lo-fi and raw. Right. So then, um, yeah, I, I went and like made, made beats and like I produced all my friends. Like we would you know get all high and like make these songs about people. Like, you know, in high school, you have like a fight with somebody. You know, and you make a whole song like, you know, this kid's a fucking nerd or whatever. (laughs) (laughs) Play it at parties and everybody's like, oh, (laughs) so that was cool. And then, um, you know, eventually uh, ended up trying to, you know, people were like, these beats are like pretty good. Like, you know, you should like do something more than, you know, make fun of your rivals at parties. And I was like, yeah, 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 fair enough. So um, I went and, and met with some labels and I did this thing. There was this uh, New York City like beat battle, right? It's like where everybody goes and plays beats. Um, so we there was a beat battle and I won it two years in a row. Did a bunch of stuff. Um, and then I was signed and I was making stuff. And then, uh, then drugs ruined everything. I'm kidding. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I think Napster ruined everything. It kind of yeah. changed like the industry model. Um, but after that, after like it stopped being like the, the big money deal, mm-hmm. um, I went and I was, uh, a recording engineer in house for the guy who sang one more time by Daft Punk. Okay. Jerome Anthony. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I, um, I, I worked for him for like two or three years and, um, that was fun, you know, like sitting there, like cutting up samples and making like house music and, you know, recording shit and you know, like producing little acts. That was, that was a lot of fun. And, um, <clears throat> from there, I don't know. I don't know. Sh- shit got wild. That actually was drugs. And, mm. um, you know, then from there, I kind of like got out of it like professionally when you, when you do something professionally, um, it stops being as fun. I feel, if that yeah, makes any sense. I feel that for sure. Do you know what I mean? Um, so I, I tried to get out of it, right? I was like a boiler room stockbroker. I worked for a matchmaking service. Um, you know, I was working in construction and shit like that. And then one day I lied my way into a job where I was making flash websites for restaurants. Yeah. And, the re- and the rest is history. But ever since then, um, I've always recreationally made beats because it was fun. That's super cool. Um, that's, and- that's, that's the story. Yeah, that's a it's a great story. It's funny, like I I um I it, it, there's a lot of parallels to to kind of how I got into into tech as well because like I started out as a touring musician and uh, and kind of failed my way up that chain and like got into web design because it was the way I could keep the band going because <laughs> we weren't a very nice. good band. <laughs> we did not get signed. Um, but <laughs> the uh, but today we're going to do kind of like a, a merging of the world, right? So we're going to we're going to use some some open source, we're going to use some music and we're going to make uh, a drum machine. Um, which yeah. I think is going to be super fun. So if uh, if you don't mind, let's let's get some code going. Okay. All right. Um so I'm gonna switch over into this uh, this other view where we can see a screen, and um, we'll do a quick shout out here. You can go follow Ken on Twitter if you don't already, um, and also just a, a quick shout out to our sponsors. We've got live captioning going by White Co Captioning. So thank you so much for being here today. It uh, helps make the show more accessible to more people, and we really appreciate that. Um, and that's made possible by uh, sponsorships from Netlify, Fauna. Sanity and Auth0, all of whom are working to uh, to help make this show more available to more people. So thank you very much. Um, and with that, we're going to jump over to this show or this screen here um, where we are able to start coding some stuff. So I'm, I'm ready. OK, um, what kind of drum machine do you want to make? I mean, I feel like it'd probably be like a, a simple sequencer would probably be the may, potentially the easiest thing. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we have like ninety some odd minutes, so we could do a sequencer. Let's yeah. let's let's do that. 
Um, did you want me to show you some some initial web audio? Yeah. Before we got into that. Yeah, absolutely. It, it'll it'll help me justify the use of some of these tools that I'm about to show you. <laughs> yes. Uh, let, then in that case, absolutely, let's do it. All right. So um, let's say we're we're hanging out in React here, and um, uh, all right. Let's do a start stop here, right? Okay. Where uh, where are you at right now? Is it is it uh? Is my let me let me reload. I might have just lost the the live. Sign in. To, what? Why'd you kick me out? I threw you out. Sorry, All right. boss. All right. I think I'm. I think I'm back in. Are you still in this uh, this collab session? Let I, me pull I the. So. Let me pull this off screen and make sure that we're still in it. It says we're. It says we're in. It says we're live. I don't see you in it though. Pass me a link, Poppy. All right. Let's do that. Wait. Is this is this it right now? Do you see me typing anything? Uh. Let me check. No. No. All right. Uh, yeah. Just send a link over. All right, I just dropped one uh, again in your your Twitter. Boom. Shaka laka. All right. All right. There you are. Let's okay. See. Cool. Here we there go. There we are. All right. Yeah. So um, let's not let's not constant. I, I like using let. <laughs> it's gonna yell at me. So let's do like a. <laughs> See like a state thing here. Okay. Just to uh, control like playing a sound or not playing a sound, right? So we're gonna say it's like not playing initially here. Um, and let's just do a button. Okay. All right, and then um, yeah, playing. The old, the old ternary switcheroo. Am I right? Indeed. Too much fun. <laughs> um, well, I'm gonna get myself a little more screen real estate here. Okay, now we're talking business. We All want right. this to say um, play, right? Yeah. Thank you, sir. And then you know we could do an on click, right? Handle click. So descriptive. Let's just make sure that this works. So this okay. should give us the old play stop Rooney, right? Let's give it a shot. Okay. There we go. So, we go. Um, so uh, we actually want to play music, right? Yes. Um, so what we want to do is create um, an audio context. So up here we can do context equals new audio context. Audio. -t. All right. Um, so we're going to do a use effect so that we can um, do gangster things when the playing state changes. Right. Um, and I'm about to, after all this, this scaffolding, I can get into um, why this is such a pain in the ass. Um, <laughs> so first of all, I, I don't think that audio will play in your browser without actual user interaction, which is truly meaningful shenanigans. Um, However, we do have a button, so that'll work. Mm -hmm. um, now you would think, right? Like you would just be able to. Do, do you know what a you know attack decay sustain release is? Uh, attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it it's it's more granular than that. Like with the web audio API, you actually start with an oscillator. Um, okay. Are you familiar with oscillators? Yeah, uh, yeah. We, uh, but I'm, I'm realizing we should probably explain what these are for for people who haven't heard of them before. So, so attack, sustain, and release. That's like the way that a a sound starts, right? So the attack is how quickly it goes from zero to to on. Sustain yep. is how long it continues for, and release is how long it takes for it to go from on to off. So, like, if it has Sorry. a really slow attack, it would like fade up, kind of like. like um, and then the sustain is like if you turn the sustain all the way up, it'll play forever. You turn it down, it just kind of goes. It's real staccato, um, and then the the release is just the the same as the attack, but in reverse. 
Um, and so with an oscillator, I'm going to let you explain that one because I don't understand those as well. Yeah, so an oscillator is... Um, uh, it, it's different waves, right? It, imagine some shit that just spins. Mm -hmm. um, so it's 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 waveforms, but not a waveform like you would think. Like if you're looking at like uh, you know like Winamp or something like that, uh, you mm -hmm. know it's, it's like a sine or a cosine or uh, you know a, a repeating. Yeah, I'm gonna pull up a. a... a, a, a yeah, do a picture. It's a you know repeating graphing calculator setup, like something like this. Precisely. Yep. So what the oscillator does is it actually generates that wave there. And when you're seeing it get smaller in the middle there, that's a release or a decay rather, right? Um, that is, you know, the, the higher up it goes in either direction is the louder it's getting. And that's called your gain. Um, the smaller it's getting, the, the, the quieter it's getting, right? So that's an oscillator. And this right here, this particular wave is a sine wave, right? Mm -hmm. Which is literally math dot sine, right? Um, other waves are a little bit more uh, algorithmic, so to say. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, square wave or something. You have um, a thing uh, called period time, and what period time is is it is the time that it takes to do a full oscillation. Um, can you pull up a oscillate oscillator GIF? Let's see what we can uh, find here. Yeah, mm, there should be like a, a circle one. If you've ever seen like a circle spinning and it draws. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's not. That's well, sort of it, but. You know what I'm talking about there, right? I do know what you're talking about. I'm, I'm looking to see if I can. Here we go. Ah, perfect. Right? Yeah. So the full circumnavigation of that circle. Um is is your 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 period time right so that's the that's the full loop of that wave right um and this doesn't just apply to music it applies to like you know electricity and any kind of signal all kinds of shit like um but uh you would sit there and say like you know uh for for a square wave right but you might hear in like uk grime or something like that mm -hmm. for a bass like you're saying like go down to the to the bottom and then hop back up to the top at half period time so when you make it halfway through that circle flip the switch right so it's not um everything's not like this like sine or logarithm or whatever um some of them are, are a little bit more yeah there we go this is a this is a great post from josh como about how waveforms work that is fantastic and so that's that's in the chat. It'll be in the show notes um, if you want to like can... really dig into how this works. Yeah. So an oscillator creates these, right? Um, and we can create an oscillator. We can. So okay. So we're I'm back in the the code so, now. Yeah. So if we go in here, right? You see me? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm still in. All right. So I can say. Um, Let's 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 put OSC up here, right? And then uh, if playing, right? Put that in our hooks dependencies. So if it's playing, um, what we're gonna want to do is uh, use our audio context to create an oscillator, right? And, and this this creates your oscillator object right okay so the next thing that you would need to do is uh do a frequency and let's just say like 440 right like a center a or whatever mm -hmm. and then um what you want to do is connect it so everything is like this like node-based connection graph thing in a uh, web audio so you want to so basically if you want to connect it to the speakers you say context dot destination okay and then you can say ask dot start, and that will start it playing. Now, so if I click the button, it, this should start making a sound. Let me put in the destructor first, or it's going to get super annoying. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> so here, um, I'm going to say ask because it doesn't have a value yet. Ask and ask dot stop. Okay. Right. And then this should play if you click it.
And click stop. See if it stops. And it stops. Yeah. That's, so then, you know. That's it. We're done. We made music, y'all. We made music. We made music. <laughs> so if you want to blow everyone's eardrums out, um, you can actually change the waveform type. It's defaulting to sign by, by default, right? So I could say ask.type, right? And we could say sawtooth. You don't want to do this for that long. It's going to sound terrible. Ooh, that's a lot. Oh, um, square wave is cool. Like if you, if you listen to like, you know, drum and bassy kind of stuff, you hear a lot of square wave. <laughs> Fresh that shit. Whoops. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> oh, 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 my ears. All right, so I dropped it down. This should be a little bit more aesthetic if you click it now. Yep. Okay. Okay. Now we're talking to get a little dub steppy. Um, so if you wanted to, to modify the volume on this, right, you could, in theory, um, create a gain, right? So okay. a gain is like a, a volume bad boy. Let gain. Oh, it's because it's not used yet. I'm like, what the fuck is your problem? <laughs> um, so gain equals context, create gain, right? Um, so here's where this gets interesting, right? Um, I can create the, I, or I can connect my oscillator to the gain. Yeah. Uh, so I, I believe, uh, no, I think I can just do that. And then I can gain dot connect um, to the destination, which creates like this signal chain, right? And then here okay. I can say that the um, gain dot uh, gain dot gain, believe it or not, of course, value equals zero point five, right? Where this will be like uh, usually anytime you do anything, it's at zero point five. Uh huh. Um, because that's like a safe volume. So now, now try it and see how you feel about the volume on it. Now. It should be quieter now, right? It should. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Much quieter. Yeah. Yeah. It's not quite blowing everybody's eardrums out. Yeah. So um, <laughs> chat's gonna be happy about that. <laughs> oh yeah. So um yeah, it still is quite loud. Um, I might I might attempt something real quick just to make an oscillator point, but it might not work. Um, are you familiar with the uh, LFO? Uh, I'm passingly familiar with LFO as in I've, I've seen it and I've like clicked buttons that turn them on, but I don't really know what they do. So, um, you can use an oscillator to not just make noise, but to oscillate properties of these things. Uh huh. Right. So that's how you make, um, uh, like dubstep kind of shit. Right. So I'll, I'll do like a, uh, let LFO and let um lfo gain here right okay so i can say lfo equals context dot create oscillator um lfo lfo gain is context dot create gain um we'll just leave that there and then here I'll say like LFO dot frequency dot value is man, I don't know, two or something. <laughs> something like that. I, I, I don't know the exact thing right now. Um, but uh, down here, um, we have this gain that has this value here. Uh huh. Um, and then I can say LFO gain dot gain value equals 0 0.5 uh, LFO dot connect. So we're going to connect that to this gain and then LFO gain. I, I This might not work, but for argument's sake, if it does, it'll be sweet. Um, <laughs> So I'm going to just see if that does.
Yeah, I can't connect nope, doesn't like that directly one. on that. Yeah, no, I didn't didn't like that at all. You're not running? Let's see, did it? Yeah, well, I tried. Did that just go a little bit, a little wow-wow? It did. Yeah. You're you hearing that, right? Like it's doing like yeah, a little yeah, boom. Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit. Well, that's that's the long and short of it. Um, but as you can see, just to make like a dub -y type thing, right? Um, it's an unbelievable pain in the ass here. Yeah, this is a Bringing, this is a lot. Yeah, it it really is a lot. Um, so um, we're gonna use something that makes this suck a bit less. You know, this okay. is this is this is very. Uh, I mean, it's not bare metal, but it's you know for all intents and purposes. Um, so we're gonna use a thing called Tone JS. Okay. Um, do you want to pull up the site for that to show the folks at home? Tone JS. This one here? Yes. Yep. Yeah, so this is my jam. Most of the demos that you see me use um, use this. Um, and what it is is it makes all this much easier. I could I could do like playing samples in the browser with web audio and we'd probably be out of time. <laughs> in he, in here, you know, they they take care of so much for you. They do like the the attack decay stain release stuff. Yeah. Um, they they give you a bunch of different synths. Like if you want to make a synth that has multiple parts, you have to like create all these oscillators and start them at the same time and mix them together and shit and it's it's absolutely devastating. Um, and and they just make that happen for you. They do. They do. It, it gives you all these helpers. Um, one specific helper is uh, the scheduling because anytime you want to do anything over time, um, yeah, you you definitely is this... have a bad time if you don't have a, a... wait. Yeah, tone I? JS there. Tone JS. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Am I looking tone? right at the, this one? Yeah. Yep. Tone. Yeah. No. The, yep. That one right there. Okay. Wow. Look at that. There we go. We got it. It's in. Look at us. We're good to go. So what I'm going to do real quick <clears throat> is if we're going to build a drum machine, we need some drums. Okay. Um, that goes without saying. So I'm going to get us uh, some basic drums to work with. And then drop them in there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. See if the public folder We'll be into that. Let's see here. You can't hear my sound, can you? No. All right. So I'm going to drop this into there. I'm going to give a kick and clap. Okay. For now. Maybe, maybe a hi-hat. All right. Can you see those in the public folder there? Yeah. Wow, look at that. Look at that. All right. So um, the first thing that we probably want to do here is load these samples in. Well, no, the first thing we probably want to do is, is import tone. Um, so up here, yep. Import you... tone from town. All right. What is, what is this? I think it's just saying we don't use it yet. Oh, weird. I have a, a weird little type error there, but I digress. Um, <clears throat> yeah, are you, are you seeing that? Can transport I get over. transport? Um, do we need to, let me see. Do we need to import it as like a, let's see, tone.synth. Where's the install tone? Maybe I'm supposed to do capital. That would Perhaps. be ridiculous if that did that. What? Uh, is it is it like a named one? I don't know. Let me let me look at an actual example here. Okay. 
basic oscillator. Oh, show me the code. All right, we're going to go look at demos. Nope. Well, let me just see what version this is on here. It was like 14.9 or 14 point something. 14.7.39. I don't know if they changed it, but I'm going to I'm going to put our tone on a version that I know will work. Cool. I'll just find the Do I get it on GitHub? <laughs> Kind of killing no, me if here. I, if I, so I, I I put it on there. All right, cool. I changed it to thirteen point eight point two five. Oh, and it's it's no longer exploding. Good. Yeah. So, gotta love JavaScript. Am I right? <laughs> Jesus Christmas. Okay. So, um, yeah, we have our stuff in the public folder, which makes it accessible. Um, so we're gonna create what's called a sampler. Okay. Right. So I'm going to just uh, create a sampler for the kick real quick. Um, const kick equals new tone dot. You do have to make this. Right, capital gonna, T. Yeah. Got it. Tone dot sampler. Right. And then you give it like a note. Let's do like C zero. Okay. And, and, and that's like it, uh, when you say C zero, that's like the, the uh, middle C on a piano, right? That's like the first C on a piano. But uh, the reason that you do C0 is, at least for me, right, is because C0 is um, usually the first pad in a bank on a drum machine. Mm. So that's what that's all about. Um, so let's, let's, make a, let's make this button um, play that. Okay. Right? Um. Uh, is that in the use effect? Uh, we probably it's probably not going to be like playing or set playing, but I'll leave okay. that there. Well, we can like do that. Like, let's just make it um. Just actually play for a minute. Okay. Right. Uh, what is this thing's problem? What is it? Oh, it yeah, doesn't playing. like that word. Oh, give me a break. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Call it kick, right? Cool. So we have our handle handle click here, right? If I remember correctly, right, I should be able to say kick, uh, trigger, attack, and C0. And that should do it. If it doesn't, I'm a silly goose. Let's see. It's not playing. But it's also not throwing errors. Let me reload just in case. No, doesn't. Do we need to do like a? Let's uh, I need to route it. I need to route it to the master track. I, I also think this. we need we need to get the path to that wave file. So I think right now we're, or is it? Is it just no, pull? That, that should work. Okay. There it is. Uh oh. All uh -oh. right. Now we get to learn how arrhythmic I am. Did you want to play like some house music or something Just... for a minute? It's not working out for me. There's also a delay between. Let me hear you say wayo, wayo. You're old enough <laughs> to remember that, right? I, I am old enough to remember that. You've, you've been to a school <laughs> dance before. <laughs> I have. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, I mean, okay. So now that I'm, uh, I'm like an honorary house DJ at this point. Um, <laughs> the chat's playing along. Here we go. Um, yeah. So. <laughs> so Let me hear you say way up. But we got it. Like we this. So now we have um, kind of the like the guts of this, right? We're we're able to play a sample in the browser of a, and this could be any wave file, right? Like we can just grab whatever and and yeah. it would play so if this was a, a a snippet out of a song or if it was something you know like somebody saying a word like whatever all those things will work i'll tell you what why don't you set up clap and hat and try those in the handle click all right so i'm just gonna just keep that bad boy in there clap and then we'll just switch this one out to be clap and 
just so it's clear. Well, uh oh. Yeah. So this is this is great. Like we're we're in good shape here. Um, and the last one was what was it? A snare? Hat. Hat. Hat like hi hat. Like. Tss. Okay, so let's add a hat. Wow. There we go. So, um, and and really, like, we could copy these over and say, like, handle clap and handle hat. Um, and then we'll change this one to be handle hat. Right, and so now if we handle hat, handle clap, what don't you like? Oh, they're not. Nate's right. We could put those samples in the same sampler and switch the notes. Oh, that's a good. Should we do that? Probably. All right, let's let's do that instead. So, um, do you have a which like which ones would you typically use? Um, you could just do D zero and E zero. So D zero will be our clap and E zero will be our hat. Yeah. All right. And, you know, so then... we use sharps, but who feels like writing a hashtag all the time, right? Okay. So then we can do drums, um, and this will instead be drums trigger, I think hat was E0. That's right. And clap is D0. And then we'll do one more for the kick. None other than C0. Excellent. OK. And then if we uh, drop this thing down, then we can handle the kick. The, the fragment doesn't isn't doesn't have a React prefix on it. Whoops. Okay, so now. Wow. Right. So, like, this is the very basics of a drum machine. Um, That's right. And so we could, you know, if we were if we wanted to be real courageous, we could just set up more samples and just get up on stage and tap on our tap on our iPads for this. You could literally tap on your iPads. With Holy this. buckets! You, did that just it. work? Indeed, it did just work. Um, yeah, this <laughs> is. I, I'm. I'm pumped. Like that. I'm not gonna lie. This is way more approachable than I expected, especially after the um, the initial setup of like plain web audio browser APIs. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I, I um, I've built music apps um, in OCaml where you're literally making the drum sounds out of math generating the waves and shit and um like like uh you know there's no create oscillator there mm -hmm. you're sending floats in array buffers to the sound card and you're you're creating the oscillator with math functions and then you're doing like digital signal processing on them and that shit is rowdy <laughs> then then the, the next step of rowdy is your web audio mm -hmm. but 90% of the things that I build, I will use tone because, you know, this isn't as easy as and approachable as this is. It's still very powerful. Mm -hmm. You can still build crazy things with it. And we're going to um, build crazier stuff with it. Um, but when you see what it takes to make the most rudimentary sound, um, you appreciate this abstraction so much. Absolutely. Um, you know, a, a lot of just the unnecessary things that you would need to do the granularity you know this just takes away and lets you be productive if you want to make a an audio type app so you could prototype shit really really quickly if you wanted to make like a like a natter dabbit soundboard or something like that you could do that <laughs> which all of us need i uh, chat i fully expect you to to do one of those like immediately um uh, link in the oh Virachi, yeah the the expo repo is linked on the learnwithjason.dev site so if you go to lwj.dev it'll be the first video on the site um, okay so so we've got like yeah we we can set up a you know I can't click fast enough to do a trap beat but like we're we're getting 
we're getting to the point where like we've got the the building blocks in place. So from here, if we want to do sequencing, or do you still want to do sequencing, or do you want to do you want to do something else? I'll do sequencing. Sequencing is fun. All right. Because, um, yeah, it's it's uh. Well, I'll show you more of the tone API, which is kind of fun. Um, and you can make actual music with a sequencer. Let's do it. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I guess we're going to want to bring the playing button back and uh, get rid of these. So, because we want to be able to start and stop it. Okay. We can call that trigger attack, but we're going to do it a little bit differently when, uh, when it's party time. And then do we want to bring back all the the use state stuff? Uh yeah. We can get rid of that. Come back here. And we can keep this all right here. Drum stays. We have play. We have stop. All right. Um so um we have this right here. So the first thing that we want to do is um, probably generate a bunch of steps, right? Mm -hmm. So we have our button there, and then let's let's make a little thing here. Doesn't have to be pretty. Let's call this. Um, uh, it doesn't have to be different files either. And we're gonna go inline. You know, I don't give a god hot goddamn. <laughs> I haven't done an inline style in React in so long. Um, so it, it, I mean, it, does it really need that? It's just a, you know, just, just for shits and giggles, say like borders, you know, one picks solid gray or something. Okay. Right. And then there's nothing in it. Let's say like, you know, padding 10 or something like that. This is the problem. Once you start writing CSS, you can't stop. You just can't stop. You're like, ah, a little off, right? So, um, yeah, so here's the thing. We're going to need to uh, track steps. So when you have a step sequencer, um, you know, there's varying resolutions. Usually we go with 16, right? Mm -hmm. um, so let's create a function, right? Um, and let's, let's say, uh, um, first of all, let's say, uh, const instruments, and we'll create an array of stuff, right? So we'll we'll name these, right? We'll say kick, clap, hat, right? Okay. Or, you know, maybe instruments is the wrong uh, thing. Let's call it tracks. Naming, naming and caching, right? <laughs> um, so so these are our tracks, right? Um, and then uh, we want steps mm -hmm. right and our steps is going to be an array of arrays right or an array of objects with arrays right so so let's say um const steps equals tracks dot map right and we're gonna have our t and then let's return an object right where name is t okay and steps are, and let's let's make a method called uh, generate steps, right? Okay. Um, so up here, right? We could say uh, function generate steps, and then um, a var. What am I out of my mind? Uh, And then we'll say, uh, uh, let's say, uh, and then for each one of these, right, we'll say steps dot push, um, zero. Right? Okay. So let, let's say zero is off and one is on. Oh, I see. Okay. I understand what's happening now. So basically what we're saying is, this is this is the like it, for for those of you who aren't familiar with a, a sequencer like what we're gonna do is we're gonna put up uh you know like a, a a loop so that loop is gonna be broken up into steps and this in this case it'll be sixteen steps 
So if you're looking at like a, do you want to show four, a picture of our step sequencer real quick? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I was gonna, I was just gonna try to like visually or like verbally describe it. Um, there we go, step sequencer. So here's a, a complicated one, but you basically for each track you have um, like here's this it's so small. This whatever this is fine. So this is the. Damn. Not not to me. <laughs> um, okay, so all right, so let's zoom in here. Um, so you can see that we've got like a bass drum, a snare, and then for each of these, this is a uh, what a thirty-two step sequencer. Um, uh, looks to be it. Yeah, and so we've got uh, thirty-two steps, and if the thing is lit up, when it hits that step, it's going to play that sound. So effectively, what you're doing is you're defining your loop. And it's going to count this, you know, if it's a if it's a 32 step, then you're going to end up with like a one e and a two e and a three e and a four, right? So, mm -hmm. and if it was a four step, it would be one, two, three, four. So you're you're able to kind of say like, I want, you know, it, it, instead of just like a, a four step beat that's like, poof, ka, poof, ka, you can start yeah. adding eighth notes or sixteenth notes, and that lets you get to things like a, you know, you can do like the the more trap sound. Well, I guess for trap we would need like thirty second, sixty fourth notes, but um, you know, we're whatever. We're we're yeah. gonna go with sixteen to keep it palatable, I think, because it's gonna it's just, be a just, lot. Just to have fun. Yeah, it becomes a lot of steps. Um the last time I made one of these, I actually did the steps in Canvas because it was so many steps. I had a thirty two one and um managing all that was a little rowdy. But <clears throat> here we are. <laughs> um so uh yeah, here we have generate steps. Let's let's just take a look here at what this looks like. Let me uh, have the console there. Uh, yeah, console's here. And there we go. We've got our kick. And this one is an array of just zero, it looks like. Have I, uh, have I fucked something up here? Steps dot push. Return steps. Why isn't that working? In theory, we should have... Uh... You know, like 16 some odd steps in each one of those, right? Yeah. Hold on, let me refresh this in case maybe it's just... Or, what, hold on. Push. Does push mutate, or do we have to... It shouldn't. Oh, God. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. There we go. <laughs> All right, here we are. We we got it. Oh man, real real bunch of pros here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. So we can have like a uh, let let steps set steps. Right. React use state. Uh. Let's call that initial step so we don't have a collision. Well, no. God damn it. Mm. Okay. I think that should work, right? Yeah. Fair enough. So, um, yeah, we'll 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 create these rascals, right? Um, so let's let's render out our steps. This is gonna be the most annoying part. Okay. So steps dot map. <clears throat> Oh, thank you, sir. This pair programming is fun, man. <laughs> I love it. This is this is one of the things that I love most about this show is just getting to you know sit and build something with somebody way smarter than me. We we, we like to have fun. Um, uh, so, uh, just there's so many uses of the word steps. It's just killing me here. <laughs> right, let's just call it. Uh, step right and then uh here uh yeah i guess <sighs> yeah let's just return another div i guess wrapper for that for each track yeah because we're gonna need a like a row right because we'll have to show the name and then boxes for each of the steps yeah so uh 
I'm just gonna make it all divs because I don't care right now, as far as that's concerned. So that's that's our wrapper. Our our first one is going to be um, step dot name. Okay. Um, wow. Would you would you look at that? Look at it go. This is just here's... just look at it. <laughs> And then uh, here we can do um, step dot steps. Yeah, you hook me up in some style while I'm doing this. Step steps. Yes. I think that ought to that ought to make yeah, it that, work. That should that should be fresh. Um, step steps. Step steps. Uh, uh, let's say background is s equal to zero and gray or light blue. Okay. Right. Oh, wait now. Okay. Uh, yeah, we should probably put a size on that, huh? So let's say like um, like fifteen by fifteen or something. Eight, yeah, ten by ten. Ten with five margin five two or some shit like that. Yeah. Okay, that works. Wow. Okay. Getting yeah. There. Let's uh, let's for this right here on the name. Let's just give that a style equals. With 100 or something. Wowee. There we go. Five. Yeah, let's let's do uh, with 15. Height 20. I like that a lot better. Yeah, it's looking good. Is this yeah. Right there, that's the one I wanted. Center. Now we're talking business here. <laughs> Wow, we okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, th there was a, a naming uh, discrepancy here. Tracks. I like that better. Oh, yep. That's right. That's right. Okay. So we got our tracks, and then for. So now it looks like what we need is we need to make it. So that when I click one of these, how are these already clickable? Oh, you did the cursor I pointer. The cursor Got pointer it. On them. So on any one of these that we click, we need to change its value to one in the array. And that would light it up. Yep. So here, right, we can say uh, update step, right? Mm -hmm. um, so what we probably want here is index. Do we want the step index? Oh no, we, you, sure we need them both. Yeah. Yeah. So here we we can do uh, you know, index and step index, right? Okay. And then uh, yeah, let's make a little function for that. Um, and then, uh, tracks, get all immutable with it. And so it'll work. Um, new tracks, track index. Uh, step index is equal to, oh, this is going to get gross. <laughs> and we just need that to be the old tracks, right? Map of undefined. Oh, yeah, we never returned it. OK. 
Okay. Can and Jason learn React? <laughs> no. Okay. Tracks.map didn't work because. Wait, uh, that, that definitely oh, should have worked. No, no, I'm a dumbass. I did an object destructure on an array. Oh. Wow. Real JavaScript expertise over here today. They're just murdering it. Okay, refresh. Here we go. And nope. Let's see. We're getting a no. getting a key warning, but that's well, okay. Yeah, we should probably we can... put keys on these bad boys. All right, I'll do the tracks. I guess this uh, step. The regular index on this too, won't I? There we go. Okay. So. Okay. Oh, what's going on here? It doesn't like. Oh, that's just drums. Whatever. Um. Okay. So it's doing something, but not. Let's let's log this thing and see what we get. Okay, so we make a change. It logs and we just let's see, we clicked kick. Oh wait. What oh, I know what we that? did. We got to do steps and then the step index. Man. Well, you got to do it here too. Oh, yep. Okay, so that should have given us Did We What are we missing here? We're missing something. Tracks. Just refresh this straight up. There we go. Wait, it was working. Wow. So it got the first one, and then it lost its ability to get new ones for some reason. So, um, I think Tracks is already in the scope. All right, let's. Let's do that because there might be some silliness taking place here. Okay, so we need old tracks. Okay, and then I'm just gonna refresh it again. Still no. Still no. And if I click, so let's do hat one. So that should mean that hat one got updated and it didn't. So it takes our first one and then it, it dumps whatever else. Let me refresh and make sure that it works on like any. Yeah, so it takes our first one and then it dumps on us. And that happens because why? How much do you love React hooks right now? So much. Um, Let me see something here for a second. Maybe. See, just if that makes any difference. What is actually being updated here? When I when I click it a second time, it uh it, it logs twice. So yeah. it's turning it on and off. Why in oh. the world is that happening? Interesting. Why is that happening? The second click is logging twice. That's right. So, what up, chat? What do we do wrong? Hooked on hooks. That's us. Um, let's see. 
So we got our click. This div does terminate. So it's not like a wrapper triggering another click handler or something. No. Um, the, let's see. This shouldn't affect anything. Um, yeah. Do my, my favorite old. Okay. So it's not firing the effect, which makes sense because we didn't tell it to, but it is double firing this, this little buddy. Do we need, does the, this doesn't need to be in an effect, does it? That wouldn't make any sense. It shouldn't be in an effect. Maybe we could do a use callback. Mm. Um. Unexpected token. Uh, oh, this needs to be a function. No, it doesn't. Oh. Needs to be a function. Uh, uh, oh, we, uh, yeah, I understand. We're not. Okay. That one. No, still doing it. Are you shitting me? Unnecessary dependency tracks. Let's try and do it right off of tracks. Yeah. Okay. So rather than the callback. And then, uh, so then Okay. Missing dependency track. Yeah, let's put tracks in there now. All right, let's reload this thing. There we go. So, oh, you know what it was? It, we were mutating tracks, and I bet that was triggering the, the thing. Yeah, whatever. I hate React hooks. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, we got a sequencer. Look at it go. Yeah, look at that. How much fun is that? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so this is cool. So like if you know if we if we want to do like a, a standard four on the floor, we we stack it up like that, and then um, we can kind of do one of one of these deals, and then we can just like light this thing up. And if we get that plan, it's gonna look, that's gonna be a barn burner of a track. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> a, <laughs> you want to actually make it? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, um, so we're going to use the scheduler here, and I'm going to just looking at the docs for one second. Okay, so we're going to do an effect up here for our scheduling. I'm going to say react use effect, right? And then uh, tracks, how much fun are we having there? <laughs> so uh, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use a thing called tone transport, right? And we're going to say tone transport schedule repeat. Okay. Right. So what this gives us is uh, you're scheduling um, a, a, a loop of sorts, right? And then we could say that uh, you know our shit is going to be sixteenth notes. Right? Okay. So this this is going to let us um, do a little schedule there, and then um, we probably want to maintain a a step index here. Okay. Right? So let's say. Um, Let's just do that in a ref state. I don't use a lot of state these days. 
because um, a lot of the time it just causes performance problems. So you could use a step index with a use ref, which is akin to like putting it on this of a class. Right. Right. Um, so we're at zero right now. So I can say on each one of these, right, step index dot current is equal to step index dot current. And then we're going to say uh, right, gr greater than 15, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, zero. So that would reset it back if we made it to the to the 16th step. Got so it. It's going to be step index dot current plus one. All right. And that gives us our current step index there. Um, yeah. So here, um, now we can say uh, tracks uh, for each track. And this is where we would actually schedule the play, right? Got it. So this is saying, essentially what's going on here is this loop here, the schedule repeat happens on every 16th note. So for every box, this is going to loop, blap, 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 blap. Yep. So we're, we're, we're incrementing this step index on each one of those. So it's going to be like, burp, 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 right across there. Mm -hmm. I know you can't see my cursor, but yeah. Yeah. It's, it'll, so um, on each index, so we start at zero and then it'll go all the way up. Uh, once we get here, it's going to drop back down Yeah. and uh, we end up at zero again. So that's how we actually create the loop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in here, um, Right, we have this this transport where there where this loop exists, and then for each of these tracks, right, like how we played them before, now we can go through them and say if they're on, then trigger them, right? Mm -hmm. So um, I can say, uh, let step equal track dot steps step index dot current like that. Okay. Um, right. And then, uh, we say if step equals one, uh, what we probably want is our index here. We're going to do it a little hard Cody. Okay. Yeah. Cause that way we don't have to like map. Otherwise we need some kind of way to track like which note is which index is which instrument so this way yeah i mean yeah well, let's just do that that's that's the this is the right way to do it <laughs> right, so. <laughs> right. so let's say um uh, uh const uh track index and then it's kick kick clap hat right mm -hmm. so it would be uh right c0 d0 e0 So then down here, um, if it is one, right, we could say um, uh, drums dot trigger attack. And then we are going to say track index and then our index of the track. <laughs> Perfect. And uh, yeah, yeah, then that, that in theory, you should work and then otherwise it's just a no op um so uh and is this this is like running now right no this is not running yet what we okay. need to do is we need to um uh actually do start and stop on it so here if if, if it is playing we would call tone dot transport dot start okay else tone dot transport dot stop and then also if we're going to redo these we should probably call um tone dot transport dot uh, cancel i think it is okay well, well we'll certainly see um and then we want to set a bpm it, and um, is that the time or no 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 okay so 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 time is um you would use to start at a certain time if you wanted to offset this by time. Gotcha. 
Uh, but I don't think we're going to do that here, at least not yet. Yeah. This just gives you the actual time. So if you wanted to do like a triplet, you would use this time and then do addition on it. Does I got that make you. sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, yeah. So uh, let's set that BPM real quick and then try this fucking thing. Okay. Tone dot transport dot bpm dot value i think it is just going to check the the docs on bpm dot value yeah, yeah, yeah that's it um let's say 90 okay right did you, so yeah let's, let's let's see if that works all right so let's just do like a four on the floor here Oh my God, we are the shit. Oh my God. We've got a little bit of a lag in our loops. Yeah, I think we gotta, uh, I'm gonna take this step down one. It actually is zero to 15, not zero to 16. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, so I mean, this is like a fully functional sequencer, though. Like, we you, we can extend this, we can build on it. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, no, we that, can, that, that works. That's that's pretty awesome. Like, I I feel like th this is one of those things that if if you were to tell. Me, if you were to tell, I think a lot of web developers, you know, hey, go build a step sequencer. I, my my immediate thought would be, I'm going to implode on this. There are too many moving parts. Like, I, I don't know enough about playing sounds. I don't know all this stuff. Um, but what I love about this is, you know, we're, we're barely 100 lines of code in here. And we've actually built a, a fully functional sequencer. And so anything else that we add here is just kind of like, extending this and, and it sounds like there's way deeper down this rabbit hole we can go um but a, at a rough level like this this is it we could deliver this and we have actually fulfilled the the brief right yeah yeah like i i've done it before where um you actually track the time and you use request animation frame and stuff like that and um it is a lot of code especially like if you're gonna sit here and um like uh, load up the sounds, like you have to create a buffer and then you need to load the sounds in. It's kind of like the, using tone for this is like using uh, um, like, 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 a, like React Suspense for image loading. You know what I mean? Like it's just one of those things that just takes this thing that's just gnarly as shit and turns it into this like wrapped up deal. Mm -hmm. Like like so much of the complexity just gets taken away by tone yeah that, you know we're i mean what we're writing here is like the 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 bare minimum that it would take to get it to work right mm -hmm. and then like you know if you really wanted to do it and and be a champion about it right like sure you, you i'd probably create a reducer for the steps or something like that you know if i felt like going through and Really, you know, again, like I've done this before with, uh, you know, each one of these had like a piano roll on it and you do it in canvas, oh, right? So we because, would need to add code. you know, suddenly you have, is that right? Uh, you know, suddenly you have, like, if you have a step sequencer, right. Uh, and it's, and it's a piano roll, right. You could have like, like 200 things on the screen. Right. Yeah. And then, yeah, yeah. like, you know, if you, if you have that, you know, seven, eight times over, uh, you know, performance starts to degrade because sure. that many HTML elements getting updated is is rough versus you know an immediate mode drawing paradigm. Um, but as far as like the actual music of it, like this, this really uh, works just fine. Yeah, I mean, this is this is super cool, and like I'm I'm uh, I, I, we got like 15 minutes left, so we can we can call it here and say like. Holy crap! Job well done. Or if you wanted to show any other parts of of uh, we, uh, you would you would potentially mention like doing an oscillator in here. Yeah, if you do you want to do an oscillator in here. Yeah, why not? Right, like maybe we can uh, we can just like add a t an overlaying tone that'll. <laughs> there, there's there's no reason you couldn't. 
So um, uh, let me look at the tone docs for one moment. Okay. And I'm going to look at uh, an instrument. I'm just going to play a track here. So in, in theory, they should work. Okay. A synth right here, right? And then let's add another track here and call it synth. Put it at F zero or whatever. Uh, no, we're not going to do that. Okay, fine. So, no, no, no. Just because <laughs> this works a little bit differently because this is not a um, drum thing. Sure, sure. And we're not using a drum index. This is a totally different one. So we're not triggering a note here. We can trigger several notes here, right? Uh, I lost track of where you are. Oh, oh up top here. Okay, where, gotcha. Where here, synth yeah. equals poly synth master. Yeah. Right? So each one of these things are different playable things, right? So you have drums, and then you have synth. So if it, you know, this track index mm -hmm. uh, only maps the drums to the their their trigger index gotcha. inside of the sampler, whereas for the synth, right, I, I might hard code like a chord that would play. Mm, right? Gotcha. So we could do like a C minor chord or something like that. Um, so we have synth here for a track right there. And then if we came down to our schedule repeat, um, I could say if uh, index is equal to four, wait, no, three, um, this is where we'll, we'll handle the synth. Okay. Right. Rather than tricking in a triggering an attack right there i could say um because so so drum will just trigger the sample right mm -hmm. but if uh if you if you do that on an oscillator the shit will just play and it sounds crazy sure so here i could say uh synth uh dot trigger attack release i believe it is and then uh I want to say that it's this, right? And then let's say uh, we want to do C3. Uh, we're going to do D sharp. I love three. that you're just pulling a chord from memory here. <laughs> and then uh, G, is that still three? Yeah, that's there. G3, right? And then, uh, yeah, if this is there, then it should play a chord when this goes right here. Okay. Um, and we are, do I just Wait, need to you know, let's, let's, let's bump that up just one before we do it. Okay. Okay. Not, 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 uh, try that with a, with your, with your beats. Okay. Let's, let's just get a. Basic beat. I did so many weird things in here. All right, let me stop that. I'll keep it going. So uh, watch this. So, you know, because we're, we're programming and we're the masters of our own destiny, right? Right. I can say um, if, uh, um, if index is less than seven, then... So I can do conditional chords here, right? Oh, so yeah. we have that right there. So then uh, I'm going to do step up to, uh, let's say, right? Yeah. So what we probably want is an A sharp three, then a D 
D four, and then yeah, that should be fine. Okay. Yeah. So so do a couple of those synths real quick. Let's see how that goes. Wow. Offset it. Greater than six, let's say. Dumb, wrong one. I'm 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 using the the, the track index, not the step uh, index. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I was like, what in the fuck? <laughs> All right, here. Yo, what up? Yeah. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Gas. This is amazing. All right, all right. Boom, hit play. 120. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. Chop Chopping screw. Chop and screw. <laughs> oh, this Jabba, is so much Jabba, fun. Jabba, script, script. It won't be in sync. <laughs> oh man this is so much fun yeah so like but just looking at this and looking at how many different customizations we were able to make how quickly you were able to say like oh i want this to go faster slower throw in these different chords um i mean this like the amount of games that i can see people being able to play with this where you could you know you can do a um like an assistive uh, like we, we, you basically taught me how to play a synth without me having to do a synth, right? You just made sure that no matter what button I pushed, it was going to sound good. And that I think is really what makes this stuff kind of cool is like, if you want to teach somebody how to do this stuff, you don't just throw them in a room with the piano and say, you know, make great music. You, you give them some tools so they can make things work sort of, uh, and then they, they dig deeper. And I, I think that that really does open up a lot of doors for, for play, for, for creativity, um, and for dipping your toes into this kind of stuff without having to be like so, a trained musician. One cool thing about this is that um, my entire music career has essentially centered around manipulating different machines to make music that I want, right? Mm -hmm. Like if you're Jimi Hendrix, right? You take a guitar and you fucking face the pickups towards the amp and that's how you get that sound, right? You're manipulating it or, you know, I'm sitting there switching out cassette tapes or, um, you know, if a lot of the time people in step sequencers like Fruity Loops, right? If they wanted like, um, like, like, like trap hi-hats, right? They would go half time so that they had the right resolution to do that. The nice thing about this is we are the masters of our destiny as far as... Uh, what we want to make and, and how we want to make it, right? Mm -hmm. So I made a drum machine called the Trap Lord 9000 for a talk this one time. And I added a very simple feature that I've never seen in... Uh, is that the right fucking on there? Yeah. yeah so yeah, that, the Hype Beats thing. Natter took it and made some shit out of it. So I made a thing where um, rather than go halftime with this, right? You could just like shift click it and it would become a triplet. Oh, that's cool. Like if you wanted a hi-hat trill like you would do for for a trap, rather than having to, you know, basically trick the sequencer into letting you operate at that resolution, right? You could yeah, like go like a uh... Now shift click one of those. Oh. Yeah, see that? see that? See that blinking? So yeah, if you hit play, you'll see what I mean. All right, let's go. That's so cool.
<laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, like, that's, some, like, that's some, so like cool. some, some, some UX like that, that I know that I need. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man, this is cool. This, so this is super fun, right? Like you, you should all go like go play with this. That's try, a very cool buttons thing on the bottom. Do the hey. Do the yeah, yeah, do the yeah, for sure. You gotta hold it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's super cool. I mean, and this is this is so much fun, right? Like, is the the talk where you give where you build that is that up somewhere that I can send to people? Um, yeah, I believe. I believe that was React Berlin. I think so. Uh, let's see the new hotness. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did that there. Cool. All right, I'm gonna. Yeah. I'll drop this in the notes for people who want to check it out. Could go to the end and make sure. Okay. Oh yeah, this looks right. I'm here. Um, yeah. So yeah. Okay, cool. So if you want to see something, uh, something else built with kind of the same spirit, looks like significantly more polished than what we threw together today. That'll be a good kind of next step. And with that. I think we're pretty much out of time. So, Ken, if people want to do more, is there are there any resources or places that you want them to go check out next? Um, yeah, I mean, you could definitely read uh, Josh's article, and there's also like a Ableton thing that teaches you synthesis. And then from there, um, yeah, the, the Ableton synth tutorial, or, yeah, learning synths, that shit right there, fucking phenomenal, phenomenal resource. Awesome. Um, and yeah, like there you can um, you can understand it. It's it's very difficult to string the code together if you don't understand what you're building. So understanding, uh, you know, what exactly how, how you make the music will, will then you when you go to code it, you'll be like, oh well, I need to do this, and then you can, mm -hmm. it, uh, you know, it's not going to give you the answers, but it'll give you the questions to ask. It will, and it, it's what's great is it's like it it turns into the same sort of thing as, as programming, right? Like I have an idea for an app because I know how to program. I know what questions to ask to get me to that finished product. And with Precisely. music, it, it's the same thing. If you understand how the music is made, then you you might not know how to make the music, but you know how to get there. Yeah, yeah you say, oh, well, you know, I want the, the, the wub wub on a square base. And I want the wub wub. You go through. <laughs> Turns out you're using an LFO to, you know, uh, tweak a low pass filter or what have you, but... I love it. Um, yeah, you know, it's, um, I also just realized you're the you're the first person to ever come on this show who can actually drop a SoundCloud link. Um, so make sure you go check out Ken's SoundCloud. Dude, the the latest shit is so dope. You need to play it. I think we have this like one, minute. Banana Clips. No, 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 no. Go down, go down, go down, go down. That's that's the spotlight. You gotta oh, go down oh, to the. Oh, here. Keep going. No, no, L.A. Monster Remix. I found this unreleased Kanye song. It's the ugliest nightmare born from the prettiest. This is gonna get me a takedown. Millions of people trying to get on the scene. And everyone's selling their souls. Everyone's selling their everyone's saying they woke, but they sleep broken, dead eyes closed. LA Monster, LA Monster. I pray. Uh, that's cool. All right, I gotta I gotta stop that because I don't want to get a, a DMCA takedown when I publish this. But, <laughs> but go check that out. Um, yeah. So this this has been great. I'm I'm super excited to have had you on the show. I think this is super fun. Ken, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Chat, stay tuned. We're gonna raid. Make sure that you uh, you add the Lerma Jason calendar. And one more shout out to our sponsors. We've got uh, White Co Captioning doing sponsoring for us. We've got Netlify, Fauna, Sanity, and Osiro making that all possible. Thank you so much. We will see you next time.